contains adult language and general douchebaggery. You have been warned, dickheads. Welcome back to episode six of Dungeons and Douches. Woo! Sorry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, you are here with Piers, the dungeon master, with... Calcifer Wellhung, uh, Diz. Josh. Playing... Sorry. Larry <laughs> Houst Played by The peanut butter guy Who's called Jay <laughs> And The she sound like a Their sex favorite offender. leader The complete and utter glory of virtue Paladin of Tempest The man The myth The legend Me Brad <laughs> Also playing Darius Bladeborn Since when am I the leader? And since when was he a living legend at level one? Well, yeah, don't quibble with the man. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> well, you sorry. know, virtuous, because he just agreed to us either robbing or bribing a man with alcohol out of his boat. I, I said we asked, but plus, you know, ten He didn't Alan. just do that. He did it last week or two weeks ago, depending on how often I released these. I'm not! <laughs> <laughs> he also convinced a guy to go home and murder his own family by, not by not a purpose. therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, what, you tripped, oh, yeah. fell, and convinced him to murder everybody yes. around him? Like, <laughs> I worship the god of war, alright? I was some kind of, like, pansy off paladin. Yeah. So, Piers, where did we last leave our heroes? Where did we last <laughs> left it? I mean, the four <laughs> things that. were accomplished. The Nothing. party got their missions. <laughs> the party may have found out where they had to go. The party went to go get a boat. The party decided another boat was nicer, so they decided to talk to the guards and convince them to join them. They gained a new henchman. This took an hour. An hour to basically get on a boat. I expected more. I don't know why. You are now on your boat. You are currently heading up the uh, the river early early bar which I believe will take you three days. Okay. Anyone point out okay, so you're moaning that the last Wait. episode we had nothing to do, and now you've given us three days with nothing to do. It's going to take us less than three days to get up the river. We're only 20 miles up. No, we're less than that. But, uh... Our boats don't go that much faster than walking, as if we're going against the current. Okay, but well, we all The guy said it would be faster. Um, I'll say you knock a couple of hours off. Okay, it's going to take you a day and a half rather than the three days to get up there. Okay. Done. Okay. Penis. Are you happy now? <laughs> Are you happy? You're holding, Josh, you're holding a sign up for the past five minutes saying, say penis. And. So, a day and a half goes by, during which time you get to admire the forest around you and the dark, overgrowing trees bending over the towpath. I am using my quarterstaff. I've tied some rope to the end of it. And a dead rat to the end of that rope, and I'm going fishing. You're fishing for bollywogs. I'm fishing. That's racist. Make a roll on um, 
I'm going to say your athletics. I think it's it good. should really be arcana. I think it should be, should. Wi- I think it should be wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Uh, do you have any nature skills in relate to that? Well, I actually have nature. Yeah, do that. Sounds good. Yeah. See how good a fisherman you are. Uh, well, I got an 11. You will never be a fisherman! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I win. I mean, okay. You managed to catch the smallest fish ever seen. <laughs> Smaller than the rat I used as bait. Yes, it's like it's, it's hanging from one of the claws. You think it may have been dead already and has floated onto it. It looks smaller than caviar. Right. Wow. I woofed that shit down with the uh, dead rat. Good job. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm chilling out on the boat. No, You're class act all the way. Okay, cool. Boy, Heavy armor does not do well in a water environment. You so, could uh, take it off. No. No. <laughs> Wait, if he took his armour off and laid it on the boat, does the boat get an AC bonus? <laughs> <laughs> if he covers the whole boat with his armour. Um, do it. Is it a small boat? <laughs> <laughs> it's, small it's, about, enough, it's, but... it's about 60 foot long. Okay, it's fine. I'm, I'm too loud. Introducing my pet mouse to Gurney. Because, <laughs> you know, he likes animals. Do you have a pet mouse? Yeah. As an urchin, I get a pet mouse. How does the pet mouse feel about all the dead rats? Is he like... <laughs> <laughs> so cold, so cold. I do need more bait, preferably. No. Bait. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, uh, a day and a half goes by with no trouble. Um, you actually have a horse pulling this barge, a uh, draft horse. In the water? <laughs> so he gets a horse path. On the towpath. That's why it's called a towpath. I thought it was because you had to use your toes to walk on it. How do you live? How do you live? <laughs> Not on a boat, apparently. Not on a boat. That's for damn. <laughs> you managed to get... Uh, I'm a landlubber, me. <laughs> after day and a half, you managed to get to uh, the area of the boat, uh, the boat's believed to be. This has been on a boat twice, and all of a sudden we're all anchors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Captain <Okay>. Pereira. <laughs> <laughs> Tally ho, men! <laughs> Chops away. So an old man of the sea. The yeah. spot. I mean, the, uh, albatross running. You, you can't actually see it. My middle finger is way up. I'm pointing at all of them right now. The reception to spot the wreckage of the boat as we're Thank traveling. Thank you. Swap the deck. So we should all roll it just in case. Yeah. Perception, everybody. Fifteen. Nope. Thirteen. Nope. Uh, ten. What do we get? Fifteen, thirteen. And Josh rolled a nope. Uh, no, I definitely rolled a no. <laughs> okay, your 15 is enough to see that. Fan, no, um, I mean, you go up and down uh, down a while, but you notice there's an outlet just off uh, the side of the river. It's um, you know there's what all seems to be the remains of a bridge there, but you can see like it goes uh, the slight outlet goes off uh, off into deeper into the forest. But you notice there's been some disruption in the branches of this, like something large has been uh, through there recently. Well, not recently, but in the past few days. Shall we assume that way? Yeah, so I suggest that we follow. Is this uh, outlet, inlet, whatever, <laughs> wide enough for the barge, or do we have to go on for it? It's like a night boat. Look, Michael, an inlet. <laughs> <laughs> there's always an inlet, or a canal, or a fjord. Um, yes, it'll be uh, easy enough to get down there, but you think that there's a towpath isn't very stable here, so you run okay. a risk uh, for each about each 50 feet you go that the horse may fall in. Should we? If the towpath is unstable, should yeah. the horse walk on his tiptoes? Let's leave on the towpath. All right. Then why is it called a towpath? Stay with the boat, protect the boat. The boat yeah. is your life. You know what? I'll protect you with my life because really, duty is my life. I've been thinking about this for a day and a half. Maybe duty has overtaken it and I need more freedom. <laughs> He's more a chance to basically look into different ways of exploring. I want to see the world. This continues for several minutes. We walk away. Yeah, he, Gertrude talks too much. Gertrude. No, uh, I think we should hear them out. Yeah. What's our like marching nice order? Go and get the stuff. No, I mean, like, what order are we going along? <laughs> Literal marching order. Yeah, first. Well, yep, I do need to I know. Know. I think I'll scout off to one side. Okay. Ooh, big heavy dude at the front. Right. Yeah, so like you scout off slightly ahead of us to the side. Maybe. And then I'll go in front. Is this on the rickety ass towpath? It's on the, the path next to the river. 
So I'll be slightly in the foresty bit. And, and yeah. I should be at the very back because I'm a cowboy. Because that's the safest place. Yep. Are you? I should be in the middle. <laughs> at all times. Are you a coward? What? What's the forest like? Yeah, of course I am. The forest here, um, on the top of us, you can see it's been some kind of thinning going on in terms of, you know, there are boats to go up which basically try and keep the uh, river clear it's an important trading route. Mm-hmm. But when you get into, there's various streams and outlets and uh, offshots of the river. These aren't really looked into unless it's got a private estate connected to them. This one obviously hasn't been used in a while because the deeper you go into it, the wilder the forest looks, the trees are oh, twisted. Is it thick enough that as these guys are going along in, on the towpath, I can follow in the trees to the side? I'd say that's possible, yes. Okay, so I'll go in the front, Dizzy go out in the middle, Josh should bring up the rear. Josh is a rear. You're stronger than he is. Am I? Yeah. I'm, I'm a wizard, man, I'm weak can't shit. Take hits, whereas you can like, uh, throw knives and shit. I still can't take many hits, but alright, I'll do hey, well, it. You know what, I will do it just because I wasn't listening. Just before okay, we set so off. Who's, who's at the front? Sorry, I'm in the, the trees. trees. Off the side. I'm in the front. Don't burn them. This in the middle. I'm not going to burn every tree down. Alright, don't burn the trees that I am in at, or near. You're in front, I'm in front. Okay. Middle. They're on the other side of the river, that's fine. Back. Well, it's just yeah. back in. Yeah. Okay, for the sake of this... <laughs> encounter slash mission I will not burn any trees down on purpose people by all means nuke them trees and the boat we're on Less also so. that was in character that <laughs> yeah. completely in character <laughs> yeah right why is Josh Finger in the mic I'm not actually touching it so you head for uh, further in trying to control uh, me Desire you go about to half a mile, <laughs> and uh, you can see that the, the river here is quite weedy. Um, it's the the trees are getting more uh, more and more overgrown. It's darker. The trees have gathered above you, and are losing out all to the sun. Perception uh, check. Perception <clears throat> check, everybody. Crit. I'm perception. You see. I see everything, motherfucker. I don't see shit. I get a. I got a 16. Don't mean shit. I got a crit. I get double. You think you see well? I see awesome. I get. You see everything. (laughs) And see this. Zip. I do see that. Unfortunately, I rolled a crit, so I have to see that. Okay, with your time. Now suck it. You're able to, as uh, uh, your natural grip, I'd say you'll get the best vision of this. You notice there's, appears to be some figures, like up ahead. You can make out there's like, the river is getting a bit narrower ahead, there's a lot more vines and trees, but some of these seem to be deliberately placed. If someone's chopped the trees, they lean inwards to cover up something ahead. Make out just about a mast, just for the trees, but some movement and trees ahead as well. Small creatures gathering in the trees, looking down towards you, thinking you can't see them. You recognise them as being mankind's most deadliest foe, the Forest Goblin. Okay, well... <laughs> the Forest Goblin! It's quite clear that goblin the, 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 the man so. crit. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I'm like, oh, hey, hey, Forest Goblins! <laughs> All these things in the trees up there. Do you just point them out to us? Yeah, I'm like, there's one there, there's one there, there's, there's one in the tree you're in, uh, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how you couldn't see them, dickhead. Would I have seen any of these? What did you get? I got a 17. Uh, you can make out the boat, but you didn't see the goblins. No. I got a 16. Okay. We've got the, uh, the boat head ahead, uh, dead ahead. They've, they've kind of curved the trees down a bit, so we can't see what they're doing. But man, I see everything. Wow. Have they seen us? Well, now they have. <laughs> <laughs> you said that they were looking at us. But they've seen you, but now they're also aware that you can see them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I tried to make it. Alright, okay, bring it. Are they particularly. Draw sword. Hold on, are they particularly dangerous creatures, or can we just keep walking here? They'll probably attack us. <laughs> probably the goblins that attack the boat and like, try and fight it. Why don't we just burn the trees down? 
Well, this is a situation. I just made a promise to Aust that I wouldn't do that. Aust, get out of the trees. He's going to burn them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this you're right off it the leash. No, 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 no. No boat wood. The, the boat's not in the tree, though, is it? Point. Burning hands to the boat. <laughs> I don't the do boat that. is not in the tree. No, just burn but the it's trees. It's covered in trees. So and move the, the trees fucking will fall on the boat. Do I move the boat then? Look, all I'm saying, right, is that if you take my fire away, I'm nothing. Calcifer is a broken shell of a man. I'm not going to stop you doing anything. Burning hands! (laughs) (laughs) Calcifer can do what he likes. Right. But you're just saying, don't set the tree that you're in on fire. And maybe not the boat, with the captain's log in. Captain's log. Uh, That's a good point. We need to get the things first, and then I burn everything. Just be very careful what you're shooting at. No. All right. I tried. <laughs> I, I'm not going to make you. Play I do game. have other spells. Well, yeah. Uh, I roll, do have other roll spells. Roll initiative now. Huh? 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 Yes, roll some initiative. Let's kill some bridges. <laughs> That well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it's taken I think five episodes. <laughs> yeah. But we now have our second fight. Fifteen. Uh, 16. Crit. Hello. Uh, I rolled a fucking 7. My dice hates me. Is that your yeah, but what's your initiative on top of that? Oh, uh. Top. Top of the sheet. In the middle. Three, two. So, a nine. Two. A nine. Right. And uh, let's see. What I'm so sorry I don't, involved. you know, focus on this stuff they keep changing it anyway man like I swear these sheets used to be Would different and the rules were different the, the rules were different there was a time when we used to roll d6s for what initiative yeah so was, a different game. Game. well probably but this is what I mean the game keeps changing how the hell am I supposed to keep all this stuff inside my head I have a life this no you don't no you're right I don't minus silence coming from here yeah Oh, wait for you. First time, first time. Because I didn't get the wrong thing. Yeah, I think I might just like insert pictures Venus. of animals while we're waiting for something to happen. It's okay, guys. Alright. Very the drama here. Oh, oh, fuck. Why can I never. I mean, well, maybe they got a good initiative. I can see what they rolled. Well, you shouldn't be looking. You're doing it right in front of my face. It's alright. You can look at him. Someone's girlfriend's going to come in and spot that you're lying, and it's a four, not fourteen. <laughs> and, you know that you just basically take this shit too seriously. There are no. Can I just say my movie recommendation of the week is, in fact, Zero Charisma because it's about peers. Wait, wait. Did I make a little jingle for this? And no. there it was. What? What? Josh's well, movie I'm, recommendation I'm, I'm, of the week. I'm, I'm assuming we're inserting it in there, right? That's been inserting the jingle. Uh, I can do. I, I can give an example. I think it should be Josh's movie recommendation of the week. Ba ba da ba da boo. Digression. And anyway, no, what is it? The movie recommendation. He just said it. Zero, Zero charisma. charisma. Wait for you. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay. Right. Uh, you see the goblins are currently 20 feet up in the, uh, in the tree line. Dungeon master is not very masterful. Uh, you are currently along the tow path to the side and you're up in the tree. So you're on level uh, with... On the, tiptoes. They are directly ahead uh, currently to the west. Yes. And they are about 20 feet away from you. You can now... Now they've actually all got active and like... <laughs> goblin noises. Is that... Goblin. You can see that six... Goblin. Okay. Um, you're currently in your line. The towpath you're on is about six foot wide. Now you've got the trees and roughage to your left, going it's to rough the terrain, right? Yeah, to the south, or you have a river uh, to the north on your right, which is wet. Wet. It's wet. Very wet. There's a lot of wet. Do, wet, wet, go, wet. Can I just? I need all I need. Can you just repeat the the noise the goblins make? Because I didn't quite get that. Sounded a bit like Jay's uh, Draconic. No, Jay's Draconic was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first up, so first up we have um, Oost. Oost. I'm going to use one minor illusion. Look at Oost. Oh my. 
Goodbye. By the way, before we start, let's make sure we are set the start of this session. What spells have you all had loaded for today? Don't have any. Don't have any. I just have cantrips, so I can do that. Oh, do I? Do I have spells? No, no monk. Um, well, let's just go with... You can work it out while we're doing Joe's thing. When we get to you, you can tell me. So okay, minor illusion. My spell actually takes a, a bit of fleece each time I cast do it. I have any so spells? every time, I just take a little bit off of my cloak. You, you're going to have a very short cloak then, but you're using it too much, but carry on. Yeah. I can replace the cloak. Right. Um, Why have any spell? So what I do is, behind the goblins, step in the I make a huge, like, dragony roar behind them. I can make a sound, and okay. it lasts so for as long as sound. I'm using the cantrip. Okay, um, that's a minor illusion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, can anyone else please give me some elevator music while I'm just checking the rules? Okay. That's it. That's it. That is it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, they get to make a check against your spell save DC to see if they believe it. So what is your spell save DC? My spell save DC is... I've written this down somewhere. Should be on the should last page. Yeah, yeah, I did. Should have written it down. Like a uh, boss. You're ruining everything, Jay. Plus proficiency. So they have to beat a 15. Well, it's shit. your raiding party, and you'll cry if you want to. Is that what it's <laughs> well, <laughs> They totally believe that the roar indicates some giant beast is coming. Uh, none of them see through this illusion, and they firmly believe that there is a dragon in the area. So they rush from the trees and are retreating back towards the boat. They're going to take the boat and flee. They can't. It's all... They're all hanging up. Yeah. Oh, they have to go past us if they want to. So we've got to jump on the boat. Then. So they, they have all retreated. So, so I guess... <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But don't worry about any of them because there's no fight. I haven't got them yet. But no, you, you, you basically won. Flurry of blows. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that fight I promised you. <laughs> that was yeah, a lie. That, that didn't happen. <laughs> Because Jay is too convincing with ghost noise <laughs> and makes everyone run the fuck away from us. Did you conjure a load of boobies? You, you gotta explain the, the visual pun you just made on a podcast. Jay's wearing a t shirt covered in booze from Mario that are painted like beads, so they are boobies. Covered in booze. Don't do that, you fuck the mic up. Okay, right, so what are we doing? What's happening? Right, well, the <laughs> goblins run away. <laughs> so we pursue. Okay, I do. Yeah, I was gonna say I follow through the trees at least over to the boat before yeah. they get before they get away. I'd like to pierce one with a javelin. No problem. Okay, because of like this, you know, yes, you jump javelin. down from the trees okay. and jump onto the boat. Okay. Now the towpath goes through a little bit of the undergrowth underneath one of these trees that knocks down to make a position, and you can go through there. Now, so far, you two are following. You yeah, following? I said I'm following. Yeah, I guess so, you know, I might as well, I'm not doing nothing else. You're the pack, so it doesn't really matter. Cause, you I'll, know. I'll just follow on. Okay, so, can you get an athletics check from uh, Oost? Oost. 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 17 plus my... I'm going to say acrobatics. I'll allow that. Okay, so you go, you're able to leap through the trees quite a speed to keep up with them. And you can still land with any position. And you see that the boat is in a bit of a state. There are markings all over it. It's a very na- a narrow galleon. Uh, obviously built to travel down these rivers. Large, a lot larger than the barge you're, you're on. It's about 150 feet, uh, feet long. And you're looking at about 20 feet wide. Um... It's covered with scrawls, which seem to be various symbols written in. Uh, any of you speak any intriguing languages? Infernal. It's not infernal. Conic. 
elvish dwarven common it has no. parts which we count as dwarven okay. but uh, it's, you do recognise it's not being dwarven okay anybody else anybody else I'm just, just common and infernal you are pretty common I'm pretty common Post in languages I put down an unknown language but then earlier I said I spoke draconic oh I speak elvish Oh, so you were just growling at me. I was just growling. Apparently, it's speak elvish. I don't know if that helps. Mm-hmm. Um, Apparently, I speak elvish. I have but no, I have that's that's right. unknown language. So, okay, so you speak... I also, I also speak yeah. back slang. It's just like the Pokemon unknown. Is what you speak. No, it's like, I don't. I recognise this language, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, you, ba- you basically see squalls then. Okay. You. Uh, you see one that's similar that's going to stand out more than others, which is it looks like a picture of a black skull, but with a lightning white crack in it. That that doesn't look like a good symbol. So no, and that's the skulls <laughs> never are. Right? Oh, have we found the Nazi party? Is that what's happened here? Uh, Got the Nazis, man. That's the worst kind of Nazis. The Nazis were really known for this, the you know blackened skulls sure. with white light. They they were. Were. Yeah. yeah, they were. Right, they so. the, the SS was two lightning bolts and they had skulls on their stuff. Like oh. you know, they sat down one day and they were like, Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> We've got skulls on our uniform. Glitch creep means lightning. You can Ooh. see that the six goblins are now taking position um, on the south side of the boat facing the towpath and are taking cover and they're pulled out of short bows. They're also at least they're not in the trees anymore. Yes, and you're now have have advantage because you're higher than them. You can also see coming from the below decks to make a lot of noise come out three orcs. The blow decks? The blow decks, yes, that's what I said. Below. And you can hear, um, you can see there's a cabin at the back of the boat and a small entrance square at the front. The three orcs, sorry, three, yeah, three orcs came out the front. And out the back comes this big creature. Everyone roll in their nature for me. Give it damn good go. Six. Is it a rabbit? Oh, I get 21. Okay, you think it might be a big rabbit? Yeah. You have more of an idea. Damn straight. 13. 13. We'll learn about this shit in Temple. Okay, you know that so this is a... Four. This is a big... It looks to be about... You know, about six feet tall. It's got a goblin's ears, but it's furry. A bug bit. It is a bugbear, you are correct. And it's probably an a bear. giant, uh, it's like a, a giant morning star covered in base garment. It looks to be in charge of this particular group. That one's mine. So, yes, you can see three orcs, six goblins being led by this bugbear. coming out of the captain's quarters, and you see around his waist he's got a head, a human head tied on one side and the elven head on the other. Oh, that's the dead crew. My mm. vengeance overdrive is kicking in. Look, 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 look. If we just explain our situation, they may be able to just let us in, get what we want, and leave quietly. No, he, What's he talk for temple? No, 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 he's right. He's like, let me talk to the gate. Sorry, can we just use your phone, please? Roll on your uh, our boat broke down. Oh no, ask him for sugar. We're the neighbors. I've got a 19 plus 1, so 20. Bugbear speaks common. What do you say to him? Look, basically, we were just driving on the road there, and we got a flat tire. We just need to call the AA so we can get out of here. We don't need to cause any trouble. If we could just pop in there, use your phone, maybe your loot. I haven't paid in hours. I don't know about you guys. Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, the, the phone looks like a statue Hang of on. some kind. Hang on, with the, with the free that he just rolled, it's incredibly possible that he's going to buy that. <laughs> But bears and intelligence means they get a minus one to rolls. So he rolled, so basically he got a two. <laughs> to not believe you. You? Phone? Is phone attacking the goblos? No, man. Look, I just need to contact some people who can come and help us. I, I, you got a telephone in there. You look like smelly human. I'm, I'm no smelly, I am human, but I'm a nice guy, and I think that you and me, maybe we should have a little drink, eh? Have you got that bottle we had before? You want boat back? I, I no, 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 nothing to do with the boat. Wait, look, give me the liquor. I, I left it on the boat. You fucking cock. I'm That's in stuff the tree. The... So, uh... Get out of the tree, you prick! <laughs> I see, Well, basically, uh... we're just looking for a little bit of help. Do you think you could possibly help us out for a moment? 
You want what? Trade? Yeah, that sounds quite reasonable. You look like a man who really appreciates a decent dead rat. Are you a fan of the dead rat? Whoa, 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 no, whoa. Hang on, hang on. This, this is going well. He fucking loves dead rats. He is all over. Did he just crit on a dead he rat? He crit on loves of dead rats. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but there's going to be a fight because I ain't giving up my dead rats. <laughs> If you give him the dead rats, we can take the shit we want. I'm in the dead rats. And as we're leaving, you can turn around and set him on fire, I promise you that. Yeah, let's get the stuff and burn this fucker to the ground. Uh, I've bagged about 30. There we go. 30! Do you know the number 30? It's 10 more than you just rolled. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, it's just us counting on his fingers. According to the picture, they do have five fingers. Is that. Huh? 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 Perfect, mate! That's fantastic! They don't really excited. The goblins are turning around. They're speaking in their various language. Like, goblin, 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 romanza, goblin, goblin, romanza. The orcs are like, ork, 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 ork. They're and I'm like, like, make me a Mikiato pronto. The yeah. bugbears all, the bug, they're all getting Pokemon voices. Buggy bear, buggy bear. And he goes, you show that first. Uh, I give you um, goblin. No. Uh, you want a, a book? And there's a, there's two things on the book we want. There's there's a book, a book, right? You want a book? It's a book. He takes off his boots. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're boots. A book. Someone else say the word. Say the word. A Quick book. 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 That's the one. A book, right? They won't want a book, don't you? You don't care about books. What book? Captain's Log. Style date 3221. <laughs> we have recently approached a bot full of goblins and things. <laughs> And Spock keeps giving me handies, but I've only asked him to, not even once. And then, like, Sulo seems really interested in this. Hello. Oh, bye. But anyway. Um, <laughs> okay. Can we come on board? He, he, he looks at me and like, what book? What is book? Uh, you, you know. Mm, mm, flat right. material made from well, trees. You've got a spell book. Yeah, oh, okay, I'll show you my spell book. Like, I, I open it up, show him pages. He's like, uh, taken. By who? Boss man. Who is boss man? He took it to a uh, um, place, you, you put things when you want to store them, and it's a cave. Your loot cave. Yes, it's a loot cave. Would you call it maybe <laughs> a cave of wonders? Uh-huh. Okay, next question. A, a small statue made of gold. Gold? Yes. Loot cave. Is that gone too? No spandard ballet. What was it of? What was it of? Gold. The statue, the was tree. it of? Tree. Of a tree. Where a small gold. statue of a tree yeah. made of gold. T- tree. Like a sad tree. Like one of these, but with a face what? that was really sad. I can't believe I'm actually doing hand actions when I'm on the fucking radio. <laughs> sad, sad tree uh, in a uh, cave where we make things and we take things to store. Where is this cave? Where is this cave, please? Um, he gets one of the goblins and slaps it around the head. Goblins like, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And, and it's like, and he pulls out a map. He was like, that's the map. Yes, that is a deal, sir. No. Well, you can no. Kill, you can kill them once no. you've got the map. The goods for the rats. Half the rats for the map. Oh, that's fair. Fifteen rats for the map. Bob Bear's like, ah, ah. Go on somewhere on Persuade. Ah. Fine. I'll Persuade with fire. Bargain the fuck out of this guy. Crit. Crit. Oh, sorry. Boom. Ah. Oh, I've got 23. <laughs> He's like... I say 15 rats for the map, and then if the place does have what we want, I promise to deliver the other 15, and I won't burn you to death. Nah, it's it's, it's good as I... You keep monster away as well. Goblins heard the monster you have. What? Yes. 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 Yeah, he's a big bastard. He's in my trousers. You don't need to worry. You want that monster to come out? You want that monster to come out? What monster called? Zip. Annabelle. 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 <laughs> Annabelle. You want that muzzle to come out? Give why us the damn map. Why lessening the name of my shield by referring to your penis by the same name? <laughs> That's the monster. Show some respect there. Eh? It's okay, Annabelle. We don't mean it. It's fine. The bugbear's like, okay, but you give me mats when you come back. 
after you get your uh, a sad tree and poo book. Yes. yes. Captain's log. It is a poo book. half the rats now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he says a goblin down. So a very nervous goblin. He looks smart and the rest looks a bit pissed off by situation. He's on the map. He's like, uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Take the fucking yeah. rats. So we can, can we kill them on the way back? Yes, because like 15 right. fucking rats, that's my dinner for the next hour. Alright, okay. So how far is this loot cave? Very so small. not far. It looks to be about half a day away. Oh, the fuck? Okay. Very hungry. Is it back on the river, or do we have to go by land? No, you can go, it's, it's deep into the forest. Okay. <laughs> you can go west into the let's, forest. Let's crack on. They can't see the face I'm pulling, so it just goes like you're talking Once again, <laughs> you managed to avoid fighting two encounters. We get XP though, right? We defeated them. With words. You defeated the bugbear. I was very clever, I spoke hey, all kinds hey, of words. He let me use his phone. He didn't even we have a phone. We defeated two groups of enemies with what the 5th edition want us to do, which is role-playing. Yeah, bitch. We role-played. I, I gave up half of my fucking dinner for a map. I think you should give us, like... the second time the Minor Illusion has pulled our ass <laughs> out of fire. I think you okay, should definitely give us some XP. I would say you did defeat his goblins. We'll kill them all the way back. Goblin. But if you want to give us XP for the final now, you can We'll do, we'll do XP after. Yeah, yeah. We'll I mean, do we're XP probably going to get in a fight in the cave, right? I can't talk, yeah, yeah. I can't talk our well, way out of everything. Think, at least we're going to the cave with four hit points. Yeah. So we'll kill them away. Full six points. We've got 25 minutes left. Like, so we'll head to the cave. Yeah. Okay. We head to the cave. We head and along the, the way, da, 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 da. as we walk deeper into the forest, we can see, like, the trees that are twisted and... Maybe if someone was a... Oh, God, God have we stumbled into a Tim Burton Someone's movie. a paladin. That's me. Yeah, what do paladins do? Paladins can sense evil. I'm oh, guessing you're not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do it. I thought you were going to say they can untwist no, trees. Yeah, it's fine. I cast divine. No, no, we're in a Tim Burton movie now. It's fine. This area yeah. has been corrupted by dark, chaotic, evil magic. Well, that was me actually. These trees are twisted and twisted. Apparently, not twisted. 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 Is that you? Torn what? and wound around each other. What? Some powerful okay, defiling magic spilled this past the wood. Do I get the, the impression that this, the sense of this disturbance is coming from the direction we are headed in? Yes, but for a, you only a, like a, a wisp of it. You can see up ahead there are some mounds and hills okay. uh, ahead of you, Le- uh, which seem to be building up towards. These uh, are building up and form like some uh, some foothills up ahead of you. This is becoming kind of kind of near there. You know? Right. So I'll, I'm like you know, long sword out, hacking my way through the undergrowth. Okay. I'll, I'll take point on this and just kind of hack away through these gnarled trees. They're evil anyway, so I'm just kind of going to town. Like there are just sometimes when you slash the trees, they give out a strange noise like. <sighs> Creepy, I hack twice as more. Ah, yeah. Ah, 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 Takes my holy rage. Bitch. Right. Are we just watching this happen? <laughs> I've got no yeah. idea what's going on. I'm hacking my way through these evil screaming trees. Careful, oh, sorry, maybe one sorry. I point out to everyone else that, you know, there's evil everywhere. And yes, I saw the same the same movie and we could get raped by these trees. Wait, 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 wait. What? Hold up. Yes. The hey, trees are screaming. Hey. Yes, because they're all evil. And they're evil. Yes. Therefore, desecrated. I can burn them because they're evil. As you way back. Burn yeah. us as well. All right. What do we on the way back? What? We'll sanctify the whole fucking woods. If you torch the trees, yes. all the other trees will catch fire, yes. and we will die. It has been a very. It'll be like the end of Bambi. The way back. The the fire let's end not of Bambi, let the right? people in the loot cave know we're coming. Cool. On the way back. Burn this fucking place to the ground. I'll bless your fire while you do it. We'll be sanctifying the area again. It's kind of like a combo attack. Pretty much. Holy flame. I like that. Yoga flame. I like that. I love Yoga that. fire. Okay. You soon, after a while, and look at the map, find what seems to be a trail behind some of the thickets, uh, which is made by small creatures. Goblin. Goblins. Perception check. Goblins. Ah. Goblins. How long has it been? 
since those two things happened. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since what? Since we were. Oh, since we left the month. About half a day. Okay, fine. So my divine is not that long. Yeah. 11. Sorry. Um, I don't really see anything. I'll give it Actually, a go. That's no, less than my passive. <laughs> yeah. Passive <laughs> What's your <laughs> perception? Yeah. And um, what's <laughs> your um, <laughs> cash move for that? Your catch mystic use it for that. Wisdom. Wisdom. <laughs> okay, if you take away your proficiency bonus, what do you get left with? If you were just rolling your wisdom in that roll, what would you have? Um, <laughs> sorry, what did I say? I said 11, didn't I? Uh, so, uh, in okay, yeah, you can, um, you can tell that basically it's a trail, you can't see anything particularly along, yes, at the entrance to it. You can work out that this is going for not too far, you can voice it, imagine that it looks to be quite close to where the cave is now. I'll take a perception. CJ2. Okay. That's what I will do. Okay. That's I'm sure I'm on perception, I'm looking for, and it be something else you want which would be a bit more useful considering the fact you're Insight. in the, You're in the wilderness. Oh, nature then. Or you're in the wilderness and you're... You know, you're trying to, even in the wilderness and you're on your own, you're trying to, like, you know. Survive! Investigate. Yes. Okay, fine, survive. Medicine. So that's 20. <laughs> 20 on survival. Do you have survival as a tick thing? No. So you can just go on your basic catch. Yeah, yes. Do a 20. Okay, you recognise that a dozen goblins have come and gone the trail, um, as well as signs that appear to be two human sized bodies being hauled away um, from uh, through here. So the, the bugbear had an elf and the human head moved the belt, so it's safe to assume that they're dragging bodies back to the cave, perhaps? Oh, uh, you imagine a ship that oh, like ate more them. Than two people. Okay, so maybe they took just two hostages, or two for dinner. Maybe they ate them. Possible. Um, right, you see that this trail that it seems to be leading a twisted turning way through the uh, forest. It's very narrow, so you need a single file. Can I get a revised marching order? The trees here are, would be very hard for you to climb through. You can try and climb, but it would require a athletics roll um, every half a mile. Mm. Looking at a dice modifier of... <clears throat> I'm going to go for... Not too bad. It's going to be a 10. But failing that, you're going to find yourself... The tree is suddenly moving underneath you. Would you accept an acrobatics? I'm. I would more likely to be leaping and. Mm. Yes. Okay. I right. will go for the trees. In that case, we keep the same marching order. So, uh, oust in the trees. Then we've got Darius at the front. No. Calcifer well hung of big dick in the middle. <laughs> And like your town. Larry, <laughs> and Larry of Small Knob at the back. I met Cassie Well Hung. I met Cassie Well Hung. Apologies, isn't he there? What did you say? I said a 13 for my first roll. Okay, so you managed to keep uh, keep up on the trees. No, it burns like you can go on for the first half mile. I'm keeping shield up, sword drawn at this point. Okay. Right, so. Can we do a perception check? Because this is where I would lay an ambush. Yes, you can. Crit! Fucking hell. I was a crit. Okay, fine. I've got a crit from the back here. Yeah. What? Crit? Like can I check what your passive uh, perception is? You. Wait, 12. 12. Is that still a thing? Okay. You don't need to rock, so you, um, you notice there's a snare. I've got 10 minutes into the trail, you see there's a snare just lining uh, ahead of you. Your crit is, uh, you, you spotted it just a split second before he does, even though you're at the back. And Look out for the snare! Right. So, what does it do? Is that linked to like a. Log for Look, a eat a for us now. Um, I guess you'll see some uh, thin rope just for the underground. Okay, right? so let's. I point it out to them, and rather because I'm not disarming trap. It, 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 it's the one you can see. But if you shout yeah. to him, you'll be able to see My it. Um, passive is 14. Okay, but um, from I'm above, it's a bit harder for you to see okay. on the ground. But you do notice some ropes going into the trees. Okay, so I'll, I'll point it out. But because I'm not the disarming trap dude, the disarming trap dude's in the trees, I just step over it and just so everyone's you aware. A, do you not have a sword? Yeah, but I'll set it off and then it'll probably make a lot of noise. It's rope, you just cut it and it just won't work. Yeah, but anymore. then it'll set off a big loud trap, probably, which will make noise. Like yeah. a log falling. Even, even cutting it is going to 
set it off. Twitch it to set it off. <laughs> um, I'm sceptical. I could always burn it. No, so just step over it and just everyone be on guard. There's probably more of them along the trail. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's go very cautiously the next half mile. Okay, so you go even cautiously. You go, you go for about another, um, another half mile. Wait, so. wait, wait. <coughs> Before we move on, can you do something next to it for when we're coming back? Like a poop. I can, well, yeah, I'll put a scratch in the tree. <laughs> Lay a wicked turd. I'll scratch the tree myself next to the snare. Okay, so you head on about another half mile, so you're, you're now uh, about a mile and a half into this, uh, into this trail. Perception roll for the lead character only. Starts off with. Do you want passive or do you actually want perception? Uh, no, to be a, a full perception roll, please. We ain't no lead, Larry. We ain't no lead. Ooh. So that's 17 plus my. With the modifier of two, that's nineteen. No, sorry, yeah, nineteen. You see ahead a badly camouflaged um, series of twigs and thin branches underneath a bare, uh, 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 underneath a layer of dead leaves, and a gap of pit-like qualities underneath it. <laughs> right, I tell Casper and not Larry. Okay. You, know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you had a bit of a prick when you wanted to be, aren't you? you? Guys, there's a pit there. Fucking god, Why man. Why watch out for that? Nope. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, the chug tester. Feel free. <laughs> nope. Uh, it's chug tester. Okay, again, I'd like scratch the tree with my sword so we know it's there on the way for the way back. Um, and I guess we should continue onwards. My um, acrobatics was twenty-one. Okay. You're doing car wheels and shit in the branches. Can I cast at this point my divine sense, which is good for an hour? Okay. I have another three castings of it left. Twisted, evil all around you. Yeah, but I'm I'm looking, I, can, I can sense like creatures as well. So I wonder if there are any goblins lying in wait here, or they are just a bunch of half-assed traps. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a spell. I'm, I'm gonna roll to take magic just to see if there is. Okay. Oh, any, okay. Any different kind of spells around here? Remember, is that a cantrip or is that a? It's, it's a spell. Okay. So, what uh, spells have you decided to have prepared for today? Uh, that and you know, burning hands. Okay. I've got so, that shit ready. Yeah. So you cast set magic. Yes. One of the only two spells you used for today. Yes. Um, well, I can use all my cantrips all I want. Okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. 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 You've set no. Uh, you set magic from the, the forest, but it's very low level, like above the normal natural level of magic you know experience around you. Yeah. But nothing in particular stands out. Okay. Well, you know, if I don't check, we don't know. It's true. Uh, right. You need to make two more rolls in the acrobatics, please, sir. Oh God. Twenty-two. Oh. So ten. Ten. Uh, you said uh, I needed to make a ten. Yeah, ten. Just about. You nearly lose your footing. Uh, coming into like you now reach. Uh, you now gone about three miles. Trees are actually spaced out. You can see another tributary. 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 From uh, the early mile river. Tributary. tributary. It's basically nothing more tributary. It's nothing more than what seems to be a. Quite wide stream. Um, it's about it's about ten foot wide. It's like five foot wide. Right next to you, and the trees starting to thin out. So it's getting a lot harder for you to leap from tree to tree. And now we're looking at if you want to continue, it'd be a fifteen DC. Do you want to hop down and walk to the rest of us common folk? No, just stay up there. Don't don't be a fuss. <laughs> Before I do come down, I want to use my perception to see, from my better viewpoint, the level and see if I can see where we're headed. Okay. Or if I can see anything. And that is a crit. Crit. Wow. Okay. You managed to make out that uh, it looks to be about a mile ahead. This uh, trip uh, which is flowing towards the river, so back where you came. Seems to be flying out of the bottom of one of these foothills you saw. You can, you can just about make out there's like a, a clearing just in front of it and it's disappearing to the bottom. And you can see a little cave entrance to where this is going in. Can you 
you see any goblins? So we should leave a mile away. We should leave. We should leave the path and go through the tributary. Yeah. Also, that would be possible. Possibly. You know, it's clear air. There's no smog. You can see no goblins. No goblins. Um, Is tributary very deep? No, it's quite shallow. Cool. So we can. The trail's going on the side of it. Well, we can leave the. Oh, so it's like, well, no, we can still walk along the river. We'll probably miss out any traps that are on the path if we just walk in the stream. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's true. So let's, let's go for that one. Okay. Continue walking, and this takes you uh, into, into all that. Now, it was, by the time you reached the, when you reached the boat, it was early morning, but now it's getting to early evening. So you spent, um, you, you look, you're looking at about a good, Seven to seven to eight hours um, since since you left the boat. Yeah. So you come up and you can see ahead of you. Uh, you came across a large cr- uh, cave uh, in this hillside, and uh, it's about five miles from the start of the trail started. And as I said, quite away from where you uh, first saw the captured boat. Mm-hmm. This shallow stream is flowing out of the cave mouth. It's quick. It's taken us. Eight plus hours to go five miles? No, it's from the start of this trail where you found a trail after half a day's march. Okay. Um, a shadow stream flows out of the cave mouth, which is screened by dense briar thickets. A narrow dry path leaves into the cave on the right hand side of the stream. Okay. Okay. So we it sounds like you read it right out of the book. That is a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we can go clear away the briar thicket. Okay, you can go forward, yes. Uh, okay, so you come across and you can see it's pretty clear itself. You can go through it. The briar thicket is coming either side. But you can Why is a briar thicket? Like thorns. Why don't you just say thorns? Because it sounds more, you know, like old timey and fantasy. Like I've got to be honest, I don't have a fucking clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Josh has just made it a lot easier for me to understand. <laughs> Thorn- There's some thorny bushes. Josh will be DM. Okay, Josh no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's see a show of hands. Okay, that's two. Even you didn't vote yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, three against two. Vote. That's right. Okay, okay, so for now on, guys. Right, so you come across the briny thicket. Briny, briny thicket. <laughs> it's covered in salt water. It's briny. Right. It used to have. It used to, yeah. Is okay. That briny so, or briny? So what do you want to do about the briny thicket? I'd like to encounter a brandy thicket. <laughs> okay. Well, that you have to get past the briny thicket first, I'm afraid. Right. Uh, okay. I walk through it. It's made of seawater. Okay, and you're in the crystal dome. So basically, what you need to do now is I need you to roll a dice, see how many golden tickets you catch. Pierce for DM. All of them. All of them. Well, you're going to the chocolate factory then. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, and I Jay. Like Jay. More. What did you wish for? This <laughs> <laughs> to end. You want to be a real boy? You want to be a real boy? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm a real boy. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, Pierce, carry on. So we're walking through thorns. Mm-hmm. And then what? Which is really smart, by the way. I love walking through thorns. Well, I'm hacking away at them. I'm. You said there's a path through the middle. And the note says. Well, no, the no, no, no it says what? That it says nothing ready. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't written the story for this part, Diz. Please stall. <laughs> As you come close, you, uh, you're going to have to splat again to this. You're coming to stream anyway. You hear a yell as you come to the front of the cave. What, what do they say? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. As it comes from behind you, as you are ambushed, unless you make a roll. Burning hands! <laughs> I don't roll burning Didn't we give them a load of rats not to do this to us? Different goblins. Different uh, goblins. I get 20. 15. What were we rolling on? Bitches. Perception. Oh, perception? Mm hmm. Uh, it's on dex, actually. Oh, dex. Uh, okay. Oh. We're rolling on dex. It's still 20. Still a I got a 16. I got a 6. My dice hates me today. This is why I, you should let me put it back in the bag. Okay. You are surprised because... 20? I said you weren't being stealthy. You didn't... You oh, I was. Yourself. 
Well, no, we, we were just hacking away at... Uh, I said it so, several times, so you never listen. Actually, they have come up from behind you and Saucy. are charging you. Oh, nips. So, Saucy goblins. you're about to be <laughs> Saucy goblins. attacked Saucy. in the butt by two goblins. Two goblins? Let's fucking end them. Can we, can we, do we have time to kill them now? Uh, well, we need to end it on something. Uh, we did promise to it. Let's, let's quickly kill something. We've okay. talked our way out of two fights. Let's kill quickly. Them quickly. Initiative, things. everybody. Uh, we know they get attack on you first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the first one is running behind. Who's at the back? Lottie! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the fact that... Uh, how does a... 18 do you? Against what? AC. AC. It hits him. I don't know where the... Bomb... No. Oh, right. Oh, if you're lucky. Yeah. The arrow just slices you very slightly. They're through. charging and shooting ranged weapons. One is char- oh, shooting a ranged weapon for three points of damage. Three points, okay. And the other one is charging you, and how does a 16 do you? Yeah. And this one is going all symmetry. And that's my second one I've rolled on a d6. That's three points of slashing damage. So you're taking six damage. Six so damage. You're down okay. to three hit points. So can we do something about this now? Right now, roll in your initiative, please, Gibbs. Yes. Twelve. Where's the initiative? Right, is that Next twelve? Year, right, 12. Oh, alright, so I've got twelve, thirteen. And Fourteen. Got Fourteen. So did Larry. Yeah. And seven. I actually thought I got the one as well. The goblins have won the initiative round, so they're going for Larry again. Alright. Uh oh. How's 15 do against your AC? Uh, Hang on. Match. The second arrow flying at you. Larry's dead! That's seven hit points of damage. He's down. I'm down. I'm kicking him while he's down. I'll get him up in a sec. So wait, what am I on now? You're on minus four. Yeah. So they should stop attacking you now, so it's fine. And the other one is charging for the next person line, which is you. Me, yeah. Who hasn't a chance to react. And crit miss. So doesn't something happen? Does his gun backfire? Uh, Well, no, this one's got a scimitar, so he just spins around like a little whirling dervish. She's like, I'm going to say he falls prone. All right, who's up first? It's going to be... Well, it's going to be Brad or Larry, but... Who's going to hire Steve? Uh, well, yeah, Larry's down. Full, yeah, he's oh, yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like it fucking matters. Uh, right, the one with the scimitar, who is standing fairly close to me, how does a 21 hit his AC? I should fucking hope so. It hits. Stand straight. So that is going to be 6 plus 3 slashing. 9 slashing damage. That one is down. So I just I just turn around and just kill him. I'm like yeah. Larry, and just decapitate him. Okay, uh, and just then decapitate. I, then I, no, but I use the rest of my movement to start running towards the the guy with the arrow, the bow and arrow. Okay, next up is going to be me. Well hung. Right, right, so I now look at the other goblin that is what ten feet away or something like uh-huh. that, and I'm going to use a uh, cantrip. I'm going to shout. Have a goblin! And I'm going to shoot Firebolt because I'm, I'm upset. Do it. Actually, I don't have to roll to attack, do I? It's just. Let's check the spell. Firebolt, what's it called? Yeah. That's Firebolt. a nice woods we had there once. I don't really understand the spells, man. Right, what's it called? What should we It's called Firebolt. Uh, Firebolt. I haven't. Firebolt would be a bit. Firebolt. I would not want that keeping my trousers up. You know what I mean? Firebolt. Hot dip. Uh, right, one action. Right, you heard Did you just call someone movement. Hot Dick? Yeah, me. Did you just oh, call yeah. Jay Hot Dick? Make a ranged spell attack against oh, the target yeah. on it. Okay, so yeah, roll a, roll a d20. This is the strange gaming session. Crit! 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 Yeah. On a hit, a target takes 1d10 fire damage, so it's 10 damage plus your spell attack modifier. Which is. Spell attack bonus is five. So that's fifteen damage. And if the object is flammable, it ignites. It burns. The goblin burns to a little pale crisp. I finally, ladies and gentlemen, set fucking fun- something on fire this right. episode. So then I run the fuck over to him, and um, because we're out of combat, I'm going to do a, a, a healing check on him rather than using my lay on hands. Okay, well, I'm just doing check to see if he's dead. 
But he's not dead. What's his total AC? Uh, so hit points. He hasn't even made one saving throw yet on death save. So. Yeah, what's his total hit points? Like nine, isn't it? Yes. Nine, he's on minus seven. Minus four. Minus seven, I believe. Minus four. Minus four. Minus yeah, four. Three hit points left. Uh, okay. I had seven. Okay, yeah, continue on your healing then. While yeah, I so I'm gonna... at how I can kill him in the future. I am proficient in medicine. So that is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 on medicine to get him the fuck up. Stabilise him at least. Okay. Uh, if we have to. And then we can take a short rest here. Look, less mouths to feed. I've already given away half my dead rats. I'm not going to eat any of your rats. I'm just saying, man, they're my dead rats. Next week, Josh comes back as Gurnet. <laughs> oh, man. Nice one, I saved his Piers did say that in 5th edition you do need a second character rolled. That's fine, he's fine. You're like the George Clooney of uh, D&D. Who? You. Okay. He was a doctor, so, ER. Oh yeah, good for sure. We shall see if Larry survives. He did. In the next episode... I'm fine, by the way. <laughs> in the next episode... Why are you being a prick for? I'm absolutely this. fine. We leave on a realistic cliffhanger as Larry's life hangs in the balance because he may very well be dead. So no, I'm okay. I rolled a 16. Well, he's looking at no, me. No, we don't know that. I've made a sandwich. Do you want half? I have been the dungeon right? master. Okay, more well, for me then. Well, See you next time. You're a fucking douche.